love sweet Georgia Brown. Big V so needs sweet Georgia Brown. They sigh and want to die for sweet Georgia Brown. I'm telling you why. It's been said she knocks him dead when she lands in town. Since she came, well, it's a shame how she cools him down. Fellas, she can't get on. Fellas, she ain't met. Georgia named her Georgia, claimed her sweet Georgia Brown. Sister, sweet Georgia Brown. Georgia named her, Georgia claimed her, sweet Georgia Brown. Heard about Tina, heard about Susie, she did it, did it, did it, did Georgia Brown. Thank you kindly. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mel Torme, uh, a great, great, and by the way, I, I would be remiss if I didn't do this. I have to thank you, all of you, for coming out tonight to brave this kind of weather and be here tonight. I, I won't forget this. Thank you. My dad was a great piano player, even better drummer. And uh, as Anthony said, he was really known for his musicality. And I think one of his greatest traits was as an arranger. And it's hard to put medleys together and make them make sense. So I stole this one from him because it's just so darn good. With her high starch collar and her high top shoes and her hair piled high upon her head, she went to lose a jolly hour on the trolley and found my heart instead with my light brown derby and my bright green tie i was quite the lonesomest of men i started to yen so i counted to ten then I counted to ten again. Again. Clang, clang, clang went the trolley. Ding, ding, ding went the bell. Zing, zing, zing went my heartstrings. Well, the moment I saw her, I fell. Ch 
chug, chug, chug went the motor. Bump, bump, bump went the brake. Thump, thump, thump went my heartstrings. When she smiled, I could feel the car shake. I tipped my hat, I took a seat. I said, I hope I hadn't stepped upon her feet. I asked her name, I held my breath. She was so lovely that she scared me half to death. Buzz, buzz, buzz went the buzzer. Clop, clop, clop went the wheels. Stop, stop, stop went my heartstrings. As she started to go, then I started to know how it feels when the universe reels. She little did it, little did it, little did it, weed out, weed out. I tipped my hat and took a seat. I said, I hope I hadn't stepped upon her feet. I asked her name, I held my breath. She was so lovely that she scared me half to death. Buzz, buzz, buzz went the buzzer. Clop, clop, clop went the wheels. Stop, stop, stop went my heartstrings. As she started to go, then I started to know how it feels. When the universe reels We met on a trolley And we fell in love I'll never fail her I'll never falter My gal and I are on the way to the altar I'm getting married in the morning Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime Pull out the stopper, let's have a whopper. Just get me to the church on time. I gotta be there in the morning, spruced up and looking in my prime. Girls, come and kiss me, show me you'll miss me. Get me to the church on time. If I am dancing, roll up the floor. If I am whistling, wish me out the door. Now I'm getting married in the morning. Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime. Kick up a rumpus, don't lose your compass. Get me to the church, get me to the church for Pete's sake. I hope I hadn't stepped upon her feet. I asked her name, I held my breath. She was so lovely that she scared me half to death. Buzz, buzz, buzz went the buzzer. Clop, clop, clop went the wheels. Stop, stop, stop went my heartstrings. As she started to leave, I took hold of her sleeve with my hand. And as if it were planned, she stayed on with me. And it was grand just to stand with her hand, holding mine till the end of the line. Till the end of the line. <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Let me regale you with one story. Um, like all the other performers here tonight, I often get asked, well, what's it like being a second generation performer? You know, walking in the footsteps of your famous father. And I never considered myself walking in his footsteps. Uh, I've been a singer since I was 13 and... Um, I was listening to the Beatles. I was listening to Steely Dan. I was listening to James Taylor and Joni Mitchell. And as much as I love my dad and I love this kind of music, they also inspired me. So I'm gonna give you a quick story to explain what it is like though to be the son or daughter of somebody famous. We were doing a gig in, uh, in Florida, in Palm Beach a few years ago. And they got this really nice little boutique hotel there. And we were working there for a week. And they don't really have a dressing room. So they've turned a dining room into a really nice show place. And we're getting ready to go on, and the band's just kind of waiting in the lobby. And they have like a big three-by-four-foot poster of whoever's working there that week, so people that come into the hotel can see who's performing and see if they want to come to the show. So we're about four minutes out, and Steve and I are sitting there just kind of, you know, talking, and two young guys walk, and I would say early 30s, and they're standing, and they're looking at the poster of me. And I can, I'm four feet away, so I can hear what they're saying. And the one guy says, oh, son of Mel Torme, you ever heard of this guy? His friend says, no, 
He says, I haven't either. He says, uh, you even want to see this? His friend says, uh, I don't know. Well, you know, come on, this is bait for me. I walk over and say, hey, are you guys thinking about going to the show? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I said, well, do you like jazz? Are you into jazz? No, not, not really, no. I said, well, um, I tell you what, I hear it's a pretty good show. People say it's a pretty good show. By the way, I'm wearing the exact same thing I'm wearing in the poster. Neither one of them is... <laughs> so, <laughs> I couldn't make this up. So I said, well, I tell you what, I'm going to be here after the show. I'm going to be in the lobby. And the guy said, well, you work here? I said, well, in the manner of speaking. But I will be here. I tell you what, if you guys go to the show and you don't like it, you don't like what you hear, I'll be here afterwards, I'll give you your money back. No, no questions asked. So the guy turns to his friend and goes, that's pretty good, that's, what do you think? That's not a bad deal, should we do this? And his friend says, no, I really don't want to see this. That's... <laughs> so, <laughs> so that was it, the two of them turned around, they walked out, and that was the last we saw of them. And I got news for you, I'm not really offended by this, because not everyone's gonna like what I do, not everyone's gonna like my style of singing, but what was painful and a little bit hurtful about this was the guy that was doing most of the talking for them was my younger brother. And the thing is, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Mike Meacham. All right. <laughs> hang on, hang on, Stevie. I'm going to loosen up with this one. Give your hand to me You say hello I can hardly speak My heart is beating so Anyone can tell You think you know me well You don't know me You don't know me you don't know the one who thinks of you each night and longs to kiss your lips just wants to hold you tight to you i'm just a friend that's all i've ever been because you don't know me I never knew the art of making love But my heart aches with love for you Afraid and shy, I'd let my chance go by The chance that you might love me too And then you say goodbye I watch you walk away Beside that lucky guy No, 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 no You'll never know The one who loves you so Baby, you don't know me You don't know me
hand to me and then you say goodbye watch you walk away beside that lucky guy no 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 you'll never know the one who loves you so baby you don't know me you don't to Brother Ray, Brother Ray Charles. Woo! Hello. By the way, these are the best musicians we could possibly get. It's here for this band. Slamming it, boys. Slamming it. This is a song that we did uh, the other night on television. I came in two days early, and Stevie and I got to... Uh, do a little bit of local TV, and it's just a beautiful song. I think written in 1934. I'm sure my dad sang this. It was written by a guy named Billy Mills. Let me see what you think. You got to give a little, take a little, let your poor heart break a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. You gotta laugh a little, cry a little, let the clouds roll by a little. That's the story of. That's the glory of love As long as there's the two of us We've got the world and all its charms When the world is through with us Pretty baby, we've still got each other's arms you gotta win a little, lose a little, always have those blues, but just a little, cause that's the story of, that's the glory of love. As long as there's the two of us, we've got the world and all it's charms when the world is through with us. Oh, baby, we've got each other's arms. You've got to win a little. You're going to lose a little. Have those damn blues, but just a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. That's the story of, that is the glory of love. Oh, uh, thank you. Who? Thank you. Stevie Rollins on the piano. Thank you for welcoming me here. Thank you for listening to my performance. Much appreciated. Like, it's always a family member. Mom, mom. <clears throat> like Lena and the other performers. I also do a lot of writing. I think it's important to, to stay creative. Uh, I love the Great American Songbook and I love all the artists I mentioned to you before, but it's important to write. So Stevie Rollins and I decided to write a tune 
about a place that existed a long, long time ago in Los Angeles. It's long since gone. But it was the kind of place, well, for lack of a better term, it was a kind of a high-class speakeasy. And you had to know somebody who knew somebody who knew somebody else just to get the password to get close to it. And you better have a big wad of cash in your pocket because you never knew who you were going to see at any particular evening at this place. It could be, could be the Buddy Rich Big Band. It could be Louis Armstrong. It could be Lady Day. So we decided to write this song about this place. This is called Swingin' at the Blue Moon Bar and Grill. Hey there, baby, it's your man Calling with a stylish plan We're going to the Blue Moon Bar and Grill Come on, Dolly, don't say no Tonight we're gonna go, go, go We're swinging at the Blue Moon Bar and Grill Now throw on your high heels I'll swing by in my wheels Tell your mama not to worry none Oh, girl, we're going dancing Could be some romancing Either way, we're gonna have some fun by about 10.05 Tonight we're gonna juke and jive We're swinging at the Blue Moon Bar and Grill Play it, boys! And boy, you should have seen her strut of stuff. Oh, yeah, there was Torme, there was Basie. Man, those nights were crazy. And you know we never get enough. Hey, bartender Ryan Seven on the rocks. Ain't no need to check those clocks, because you're cooking at the Blue Moon Bar and Grill. Now you can swing your baby out You can even stomp and shout Cause you're swinging At the Blue Moon Bar and Grill I'll take this one Midnight, we check out Miss Ella, and she'd be singing "Tisket a Tasket, my basket." And up on the bandstand, the boys were playing Birdland all night long. Those cats could really blow. Go! that I know if you want to catch a show you gotta be at the Blue Moon Bar and Grill and now listen to that swinging beat you can't help but move your feet cause you're cooking at the Blue Moon Bar and Grill everybody was grooving at the Blue Moon Bar and Grill everybody was swinging at the Blue Moon Bar and Grill she do be do do be do do Yeah, we're cooking at the Blue Moon Bar and Grill. Should do 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 do